Okay, welcome back, Yogro Nation. Of course, I'm Zach, and I'm doing something a little different today. Um, as most of you probably already know, I was gone all weekend, hanging out with the kids in Oklahoma and just enjoying my time with them. And all this news started breaking around Thursday when I was leaving, maybe even Wednesday, about many I, I, if I remember reading right, hundreds of allegations within the wrestling industry of different wrestlers and other talent and producers and others within the business assaulting um, women within the industry. Of course, this is a very, very sensitive subject. Therefore... Um, if you're not of a mature age, I advise you don't watch this, and this will probably be demonetized. I'll probably never make a dime off of this ever, and that's fine. That's not the point, but this is going to have very sensitive uh, subjects that I would prefer. Again, if you're not mature, you shouldn't be watching this video. Uh, but for those who do watch it... Uh, I am not going to go into details of certain names of people who have made these allegations uh, just for their protection because I don't want to put everyone's business – the stuff, it's out there. If you really want to know the particulars, it's there. You can go over it. Um, I do have a list of the wrestlers who have been accused. I – it's a lot of heavy stuff, man. And again, this was not a video I had planned on doing, but Saturday it was just like, okay, when I get home and everything's around my back, I have to speak about this. So I just took my time, got the facts that I could get, and I just wanted to talk about it, just get my take on it, what's my stance on it etc uh etc like I, I, I it's hard to even speak on it because it's it's a hard subject to speak about and just to have read some of the accusations of some of these wrestlers from jordan devlin uh to jimmy havoc um it's it's mind-blowing, and it's not an isolated incident. It's popping up everywhere, and it is blown up all over Twitter. It's hashtag speak out, hashtag speaking out. Like, I, I'm spreading <clears> – excuse me. I'm spreading this out, and I want this message to get out there. And I'm, I'm not the most philosophical. I'm not the most elegant when it comes to talking, but just – the things that I've read, the things that I've heard from listening to other podcasters who have already covered this, it's just mind-blowing. And the reactions to some of the companies, while I, while I understand certain – you know, they, they can only do certain things with what they've been presented, it's still – I don't know. I, I just feel like the response for some have not been great. And for others, it's, okay, this is what they're doing. And I'm just taking it all in. But it's what is already a tragic time in not just our countries, but across the world. And this isn't just in the U.S. It's going into Britain. It's going into other countries with other promotions. It's just insane and it makes me really wonder, this business that I've watched since I was 14, that I've loved since I was 14, what really is going on? You know, it's bothersome. And I just, it makes it hard to want to enjoy it. You know, Raw's on tonight. And I, I, it almost feels like that's so irrelevant. Like, what do I do? You know, do I boycott until they get rid of people? You know, it's accusations at this point, and I'm not going to say any of the particular individuals who have been accused of are for sure, yes, they've done this because that would be unfair of me. At the same time, I'm also not going to be one of those who are going to say these women are crying wolf because it could be true. 
but it's not my place to judge either way, I guess. So I'm going to try to remain as impartial as I can throughout the course of this video. I don't know how long I'm going to go. Um, I'm just going to read you guys the facts as I've pulled them up, the different news stories. Maybe some will overlap. I just I pulled up as many stories as I could, read as much as I could, and that's what we're, we're going to go off of. So first off, and just – my goodness, the, the the list of names is just insane. So, um, where am I at here? So, I went to here. All right, so I have the list of names of everyone who so far has been accused. You got Jim Cornette. Him and his wife have been accused of grooming a young girl. Matt Riddle, Velveteen Dream, Rich Calado, David Starr, who has been stripped of all the championships that he's currently won, and his career is probably over. Dave Christ, Rob Feinstein, Will Ospreay, Mark Haggerty, Kirk White, Jimmy Havoc, Trent Seven, I mean, a lot of these guys are people who are in the UK, and it's already having issues. Wolfgang, Mark Paz Perry, Dave Lagana, Jordan Devlin, Jack Gallagher, Byron Wolcott, Congo Kong, Scotty Davis, Justin Roberts, Bull James, Travis Banks, Legero, and Joey Ryan. Um, these are the list of the names that I that I guess are current, and I mean, I'm here in. Hundreds of allegations are being made throughout the industry. It's it's very been a very dark weekend within this industry. And just to see the list of these names. But I'm going to start with the Wrestling Observer and what um, what their latest, I suppose, is. Let's see, I'm going to have to find this. I'm going to have to pull this up. So back on – this is the actual June 22nd uh, newsletter. Let's see. Oh, shoot. I can't go to that. So, yeah, David Starr it was, was the start of this. Okay, so I can't get to that. So I'm going to go to deadline. Uh, WWE has, as of this time, only released Jack Gallagher – who was one of those people who were accused? Get down here. So I'm just going to read what they have. And again, I'm not, I'm not picking sides. I'm not accusing either side of either actually doing it or faking it because it's not my place to do that. And I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to do it. Wrestling stars from several federations, including the WWE, are being accused of sexual misconduct in online forums. The movement, loosely organized under the hashtag Speaking Out, has already led to one wrestler having his contract terminated. The WWE announced the release of wrestler Jack Gallagher, real name Oliver Claffey. Shortly before this week's Friday Night Smackdown aired on Fox, no reason was given, but Gallagher was the subject of an earlier online post that accused him of sexual assault. The WWE issued a statement but did not directly address whether Gallagher was let go because of the misconduct allegation. The statement reads, Individuals who are responsible for their individuals are responsible for their own personal actions. WWE has zero tolerance for the matters involving domestic violence, child abuse, and sexual assault. Upon arrest for such misconduct, a WWE talent will be immediately suspended. Upon conviction for the misconduct, the WWE talent will be immediately terminated. WWE's ability to find, suspend, or terminate a WWE talent will not be, however, limited or compromised in any manner in the event incontrovertible in <laughs> evidence of such legal misconduct is presented to WWE. Basically saying if they get any sort of evidence that says this, there's just no denying it, they will release the matter. It's added, we take any allegations of this nature very seriously and are looking into the matter. As of Sunday, Gallagher's profile was deleted from WWE.com. Gallagher could not be reached for a comment. 
So, I go on to say, Friday Night SmackDown also featured the debut of Matt Riddle, who also faced assault allegations, which ha he has denied. His attorney has issued a letter on behalf of Matt Riddle, which I will go here, and I will continue to read about Matt Riddle. Let's see. So, professional wrestler, and I will not mention her name. You guys can go and look it up. Accused WWE's Matt Riddle of sexual assault in a series of tweets Friday. Um, she detailed an alleged incident from 2018 in which she and the 34-year-old Riddle were on the road together with other performers. During the van ride, when three other wrestlers had fallen asleep, Matt asked me to hop on his... She wrote, When I refused, although we had previously been together... I was incredibly uncomfortable in the setting. Okay, I'm not going to continue to read this. Um, it's just, this is just, this is insane. And Danielle Rose, an attorney representing Riddle, said in a statement published online, the allegations of this independent female performer are completely false in other attempts to harass and humiliate Mr. and Mrs. Riddle and to try to tarnish their reputation in this community. Uh, Riddle's wife since... Okay, so Matt Riddle, who's also married. Okay, sweet, I suppose. This was from the New York Post. Like, this is... This is literally everywhere. And it's just... It's just insane. Um, so... NWA and David Lagana have parted ways. David Lagana has, apparently has stepped down from his position... Uh, I just, it's, it's insane. This whole thing is insane. Um, no comments, I guess, were really made, though, with David Lagana. So he's gone. Jack Gallagher has been fired. Bar Wrestling. Bar Wrestling, uh, which I believe is owned. Bar Wrestling has reportedly shut down as a number of women accused owner, Joey Ryan, of sexual assault and harassment. So Al SoCal Uncensored, not the tag team, reported this evening that the Bootleg Theater, which was the home base of bar wrestling, have ended their relationship with the company due to the allegations. Several people have also told the website that the promotion has ceased operations. Additionally, the promotion's video library is no longer available on High Spot Network. After initial accusations surfaced, Ryan posted a lengthy message on his Twitter account apologizing for invading people's personal space. After the message was posted, a number of women posted on Twitter allegations of sexual assault and harassment. Ryan has since deactivated his Twitter account as well as Bar Wrestling account. Ryan primarily works for Impact Wrestling, who have not commented on the specific allegations. Bar Wrestling has not run any show since March 11th because of the virus. It has been running shows in Los Angeles area since 2017. So they are, they've had no statements. WWE is saying that they are completely uh, not going to tolerate this. Um, Joey Ryan, I guess, has now lost his company, which is fine. I mean, little things. Uh, another one of the individuals I wanted to talk on before I really got into my thoughts was Jimmy Havoc. Apparently, he's going to undergo some sort of treatment. All Elite Wrestling has announced Friday that an in-ring performer, Jimmy Havoc, set to receive treatment and counseling following the allegations levied against him on social media. In a statement on the matter, AEW wrote that it is evaluating Havoc's status with our company and will address it when he has successfully completed rehabilitation. Here's exactly what they tweeted. We wish Jimmy all the best as he receives treatment and counseling in an effort to overcome the mental health and substance abuse challenges in his life. We are aware of the various, reported, the various reports related to Jimmy. We are evaluating his status with our company and will address it when he has successfully completed his rehabilitation. Um, Havoc's ex-girlfriend, Blank, took to Twitter on Thursday to allege that Havoc mentally and emotionally abused her on multiple occasions during the relationship. She wrote that he did, she dated Havoc for nearly three years. During that time, Blank said Havoc would scream in her face, verbally abuse her, and attempt to self-harm in front of her. 
Blank later posted an account provided to her by a woman who said she was raped by Havoc a couple of years ago. Many women came forward on social media Friday and Saturday to share their accounts of abuse they suffered at the hands of male professional wrestlers over the years. Of the wrestlers who are alleged to have engaged in abuse misconduct, a large number of them began their careers on the British pro wrestling circuit. The 36-year-old Englishman Havoc is a 16-year pre- a 16-year veteran of the wrestling business who competed for promotions all over the world, including Insane Championship Wrestling Progress, blah, 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 blah. Havoc is perhaps known best for his experience in deathmatch wrestling, and it just kind of goes on to what he's already done. And they show some of the tweets. It, it's just... I mean... <laughs> You read all of all of this stuff, and it's just like, what have these people done? Like, again, I'm not going to accuse, but there's so many alle- allegations. And you know what the little saying is, where there's smoke, there's fire. And, I mean, I can't blame AEW for their response. I don't blame WWE for their response. I don't blame... Um, I, I wish Impact Wrestling would say something, but this is just such a crazy thing, and it's such a serious matter. This is I. I just I don't even know, man. I don't even know how. I mean, I hope allegations aren't true, but. This is just insane. The the whole matter is just crazy, and all the allegations being thrown at. And I guess these promotions are doing the best that they can. And with all these promotions, you know, whether it be in Britain, whatever, like how will this affect promotions like NXT UK? All these wrestlers being accused, Jordan Devlin being accused of several things, like Arrow, who's a trainer, like. This could end NXT UK, and that'd be done. You know, COVID's already taken a big hit on it. I just, I don't, I don't even know. I would, I, I don't really know what my, you know, full thoughts are right now. I'm just more or less taking it as it is and going from there. I wanted to keep this brief. Just kind of deliver the news. My general thoughts is just, this is a messed up situation. But to the potential victims, and I I say potential without trying to sound like they're full of it. Like, I really do feel for them. My, I'm, I'm so, keep things so close to the vest. My sister, one of my sisters, is a victim of sexual violence. And it is a it is a manner in which I do take very very seriously, and I'm a father of two daughters. I take it very serious, and I just I, I, the industry that I love for this to be what's going on. Again, I am not an expert on all the stuff that's happening, and I'm not one of these people who are plugged in. I'm just reading what I see, and. It it scares me just to think that this is what's been going on. And I feel for these people. And I see tweets from like Rebby Hardy who are like, you know, seeing people normalize this. I mean, fucking Jim Cornette is is grooming people or be, at least being accused of it. I, I didn't even read like I've read so many of these things and. I just I'm flabbergasted at everything that's happening. It's just, it, it makes me feel sick inside to read this stuff as a father, as, as a future husband, as a, a you know, brother, and to know what my sister's already gone through. And for those who want to say, well, why didn't you say their names? Are you taking the power? No, I just, I don't say their names because I don't want people who may be fans of these particular wrestlers going on and then trying to attack them. If it's really that important to you to know their names, then go look it up. But I will not give you that information myself. 
because I want to protect the women who are involved in this. I'm not a white lighter or a, a, a you know, I'm not lighting a light for people. I'm not SJW. I'm a father who, who, if it was my daughter, how would I feel? That is the point in which I look at this. That is how I come at this is as a father and a brother, as a son. No, I, I, I can't condone what these men potentially do. Like I am a huge fan of Matt Riddle, but Honestly, in my opinion, I'm not telling these companies to get rid of them. I already know that the landscape of wrestling is already odd because of everything that's already going on in the world with, with the virus. I would not allow those who are running television, I just I would not allow them on TV. I would take them off TV, suspend them, however you want to go about that. Don't suspend them. Don't use them. Until this stuff is cleared. Till you have irrefutable evidence that they either did or did not. And from that point, make your decision. Um, I think WWE's approach with what they said is the best response they could go with. AEW, I respect their decision. But at the same time, I'm not wishing this man well when I don't know whether he did something or not. But that's their approach, and that's fine. But that's my thoughts, guys, honestly. And that's – this is such a messed up thing. And I, I know for a fact that it's, it's, it's going to be a touchy subject. And some people may agree with me. Some people may disagree with me. And maybe I'm not the right person to talk about this, but I feel like I should. If nothing else, to raise awareness of this hashtag and – if you are a person watching and you have been affected by physical abuse, sexual abuse, you know, verbal abuse, whatever type of abuse, you're not alone. There are people out there who will talk to you. You'll have people in your life. And if you don't, there are numbers you can call. I will go out of my way and I'm going to link the abuse hotline in the description in this video for people to call people you can talk to. I'm going to link any of those numbers I can find in the description for this video. I encourage you all to go do that. Um, again, I'm not some expert. And I'm not going to try to pretend to be. But if nothing else, if I can just maybe help one person who might be like, you know what, maybe I should go talk to someone. Maybe these women who are speaking out will inspire you enough to go talk. To speak out, use the hashtag. If you've had, an, had something, whether you've talked about it or not, take it to social media, take it to a friend. Whatever route you find best, please, I implore you to please do that. You know, if your mother, sister, whatever, just speak, talk to someone. Help inspire somebody else if you've been through it. Help each other. This is crazy times. We need to help each other. And to see all of this coming in the industry, it makes me sick and it makes me lose makes me lose that love for what this this business that I loved. And I know it's not the business as a whole, but it almost feels like it. And to see some people trying to normalize it makes me even sicker. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to keep rambling. I just I, I'm at a loss. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link those numbers down in the description for people to call. And I, I just t go talk to someone. Find a friend that you trust. Call these numbers. Do something. But I want to thank you guys. No plugs today. No intro today. Just I needed to have this discussion. I needed to talk and get this out there for all of you. But I'm Zach. This was the Yobro Yo Nation YouTube channel. Thank you guys. Talk to a friend. Love each other. And be good to each other. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.